In this video, I want to talk about extending FM Starting Point or a similar FileMaker database using PHP, allowing your customers access to information in your FileMaker database. Now, PHP is a great way to connect a FileMaker database to a web page so the public can interact with a dynamic data source. In this specific case, I want to talk about selling goods and services in FM Starting Point using PayPal and having that fully configured and automated using PHP and FileMaker Server 13. First off, my team here at RCC has a lot of experience connecting FM Starting Point to PHP and to PayPal, which allows people to go online and purchase products and to allow the security and credit card complexities to be handled by PayPal and once the order is complete for that order information to be forwarded from PayPal back to FileMaker Server 13 to create a new order in your FM Starting Point database. This is exceptionally cool technology. I have two examples I can show you. First off, we have an author of a book who is self-publishing hand-signed copies of his book. Now he's selling his book through a number of different outlets. But if someone wants a hand-signed copy of his book, he needs to go on to his personal website and buy the book and complete the order that way. This order process starts off on the Real Deal Publications website, goes forward into PayPal, and once the order is complete, PayPal sends secure information back to FM Starting Point, creating a new invoice in FM Starting Point with all the necessary information. And what's really slick about it is because we're calling PHP, after PHP is done inserting or creating the information inside of the FileMaker database, it can actually call a FileMaker script to run and to do some additional maintenance or administrative tasks for us, like sending out an email or otherwise helping us fulfill the order for this book. Another easy example to show you is our FMGO 13 video training course users can purchase the desktop version of this training course by going through PayPal and those completed orders are then sent to an in-house copy of FM Starting Point that's been specifically tuned to manage all of our finished good sales at RC Consulting. Once the order is created inside the invoice, an additional script runs to search the contacts database to see if this contact is already in our system. If it is, it creates a relationship between that invoice and that existing contact. If the contact does not already exist in our system, then it creates a new contact record in addition to the new invoice that it already created. This is extremely powerful. Now while we're selling just one item here, multiple items can be sold through this mechanism. And because of the great improvements from the FileMaker 12 web publishing engine and carried forward into FileMaker 13, this is a very robust and very reliable solution and it can service a great number of people in a short period of time. Now I want to point out up front because some of you may be thinking about this we're not talking about the idea of using WebDirect here. WebDirect has limited performance so it's really meant for users who are internal to your organization to access the database. If you turn a website loose to the public there's a good chance that you could have a number of people access the website nearly simultaneously. This could easily overwhelm WebDirect. So for that reason, and to keep costs under control, we recommend the use of the PHP API that FileMaker Incorporated promotes and uses within the FileMaker 13 product. Along with robust support from PayPal, you have the ability to manage the orders on the front end and then hand off the checkout process to PayPal on the back end. Once the funds have been received by PayPal, PayPal sends your FileMaker server and your database a notification that the order has been received and you're ready to process. For more information about this capability, feel free to contact Richard Carlton Consulting and my team here at support at rcconsulting.com.